Hi, I'm Mel Underwood, the water quality chemist for the Arizona Game and Fish Department. I graduated from high school at Central High School, which is in Phoenix, and then got my degree in chemistry, bachelor's of science degree in chemistry at Arizona State University. The, this lab is part of the fisheries branch of the Arizona Game and Fish Department, and fisheries branch is responsible for managing fish and fishing in the state of Arizona. Uh, part of that management includes uh, monitoring the water quality of the state hatcheries, lakes and streams for the welfare of fish and fishing. Uh, so on a, on a daily basis, basically what I do is analyze water samples for, chemi for various chemical parameters, like maybe nitrate, phosphorus, uh, trace metals, uh, anions like chloride, sulfate, those kind of things. And, and, and you know, just for make sure the water is great to put fish in. This, this here is kind of our workhorse. This is a, what is called a flow injection analyzer. Uh, or sometimes also known as an ion analyzer. What this does is does all the non-metallic uh, chemical uh, parameters like like chloride, sulfate, uh, alkalinity, uh, nitrate, uh, phosphate, ammonia, those kind of things. I can run that uh, on this particular instrumentation here. And this is what we use mostly because those are the parameters that we're most concerned about as far as um, uh, hatcheries, discharge, and just general water quality anyway as far as fish is concerned, especially for nit especially nitrogen and phosphorus because those are what we call algae nutrients and if, so, uh, you know, if we get too much algae in the water and stuff, it can cause problems like fish kills, which is another thing we investigate. So, uh, as far as uh, what inspired me to go into uh, science and, and uh, chemistry in particular, uh, as far as I can remember, I've always been interested in science, you know, even from a young age, I've always been interested in the science shows on TV and like uh, Wild Kingdom, Jacques Cousteau, uh, PBS science, science, you know, shows. Uh, as far as my, what inspired me for, uh, for chemistry, it was a specific, there was a specific uh, incident in school. It was actually a junior high school science class. Uh, part of that science class, you know, we were covering all the different sciences and once we got to the chemistry part of it, something clicked and I re realized at that point, like, you know, I think that's what I'm gonna wanna do. So yeah, it was just, just chance encounter in, high, in a junior high school science class. That kind of steered me into this path now that I'm currently in as a, as a chemist. And been with it ever since junior high school, basically. I studied, did studying on my own after that and took a bunch of chemistry classes in high school. Of course, majored in it in college. But yeah, yeah that's basically how I got into this.